what you were trying to do? Uh, it's, it's back to the future, right? When I was coming out of school in 89, I saw Integra type cars, I saw NSX, I saw, I saw Legends. And these cars blew my mind. And I committed to go to Japan and work in Japan for the first six years to see who built these things. And what I was amazed at was how youthful everybody was. And they were just trying to have fun and make something cool with what they had. Whenever you make anything, or you design or create anything, whatever you're going through, it's gonna translate itself in whatever you manifest, okay? And those cars were amazing because they had that vibe going. And so if you want that again, you have to think like they did, you have to behave like they did, or you're not gonna get what you want. For the better part of two decades, Acura Racing had not fielded an NSX. What was once labeled as the best sports car ever built was a marked absence from the tracks the world over. So when Acura revealed a new NSX in 2016, few expected a racing variant, the GT3, to accompany it. It seemed a return to form was in order. On a sweltering summer weekend in Watkins Glen, New York, Acura will again vie to remind the world of its performance roots by winning a grueling six-hour endurance race in not one, but two classes. So today we're here at Watkins Glen International Raceway just outside of Elmira, New York, and uh, a lot of tradition and history here in Watkins Glen. Last year, the Acura NSX won this race, so we're hoping to come back and, uh, you know, reclaim the victory. Yeah, this is one of the crown jewels of the season and one we're all looking to win. It's, it's a really challenging racetrack. To get a good lap time here, you have to you have to really kind of stick your neck out there and, and drive really hard. I've been involved racing for 24 years with, with Honda and Acura, and you know, I've seen what Acura can do when it's given the opportunity. And you can't not know the name P.D. Cunningham and Real Time Racing. They've won more championships and races than almost anybody in the history of this country in road racing. And that was primarily with the Acura Integra and the Acura NSX. A couple years ago, Acura decided they're going to push performance again. And when that happened, they decided they're going to race this new supercar that we build here in America. You know, from the very beginning, while it was still being developed and details were still being finalized, we were working in things needed for racing. When we say precision craft performance or performance division on it, it's in our culture to race. That's where we come from. So whether you're accurate or not, we got to go racing. That's kind of half street car, half race car, which is a really cool thing. Well, the engine comes off the Anna assembly line in Anna, Ohio, and goes directly into our race car. When you walk up to one on the street or sit in the street car, it's really not that much different than our race car. They start with building a great street car that's got racing DNA, that's got the heritage into it, it's got the performance, and then they turn that into the race car, but Acura didn't have to do that much for us. When we're pushing these race cars to the absolute limit, a lot of what we're doing is enjoying the technology and engineering that Acura has put into the street car. One of the things I'm most excited about is, one, we've got a GT3 car for the first time you know, ever, and secondly, that we're racing also in the top class with the Daytona Prototype International. One of the things that actually really made my decision to go from IndyCar to a sports car, it was actually working with an Acura manufacturer. I think the involvement of Acura is, is really high. They really care for the program, you know, John Akita really cares for the program. It's like a full factory effort that he it makes it a lot of fun to be involved in a, in a project like that. I've really been enjoying the support from Acura and it's certainly special to have John Akita come to our races and to see his passion for it as well and, and where he's trying to take the brand at the moment. But no time in the beginning did I think that we would be partnering with a team like Team Penske because we're talking about Roger Penske here. He got excited about what we were doing and uh, sure enough, you know, you, you work with winners, you win. The engine that's in that car is a production-based engine. 
The base block is the 3.5 liter V6 engine that's in most of our vehicles. There's lineage there for sure. There's definite connection. A lot of people think that a production-based racing engine can't be as good as a bespoke race engine. It actually makes a great race engine, particularly because of the DNA that's built into you know, an Acura engine to start with. And what's amazing is what they've done with that engine, you know? We keep finding ways to make it better every time. Yeah, well, that's what makes it work at the end of the day, is, is that crossover between motorsport and between the road car program. Being a driver, driving for a manufacturer, you always want that sense of purpose, I think, a little bit. Acura's bringing 10, 15 engineers to the racetrack and taking that knowledge back to, to the road car side really gives us a sense of pride for what we're doing and that it's, that it's actually ending up on the street one day. Seems to, you know, it doesn't matter where we go, everywhere we go, we're going to shut our winning. But before the first podium finish, before the first NSX ever touched a track, there was an idea. In 1989, Acura set out with a singular goal to create both luxury and performance vehicles not exclusive to each other, but in concert. Those engineers who crafted championship caliber engines, the likes of which propelled Parker Johnstone and Peter Cunningham to victory, were also developing the brand's popular passenger models. Acura knew the relationship between track and showroom would define a legacy of precision-crafted performance. And in 2015, they bet on a designer to return the iconic brand to form. Uh, I've been general manager of Acura Sales for about three years now, but I've been with the company for 29 years. Six of uh, when I first started in Japan, and 26 as a car designer. Uh, the car that I really pour my heart and soul into is the 2004 Acura TL. Honestly, I couldn't think of a better person to be in charge of Acura. He has this vision for where Acura should be headed and it's very much looking at the, the relationship between man and machine. So Chira Honda very famously said without racing, there will be no Honda. When you race, the internal culture and the mindset start to change, right? It becomes a very synergistic relationship. You know, we kind of feed on each other. The heart of Acura Racing is performance. And John Akeda and his guys decided that performance was going to become part of Acura again and they're going to make sure of it. So we came out like bad out of hell in the uh, mid 80s and early 90s. And as you evolve your brand, we, we went through some transitions there, you know, and we were kind of wandering around a little bit. We're trying to convert the culture again to that, that energy, that, that way that we were. Right? We are a performance brand. We're a performance division of Honda. That's where we came from. So we need to get back to our honest self. And it's slowly catching on because everybody starts to understand and say, this is fun. It went back to the roots. When you go back to the roots, you get the pure heritage of Acura. I see and I feel the difference and the energy from customers. If you're gonna make fun, you gotta have fun. Whether you're in a dealership, you're a consultant there, or you're working in the manufacturing, or you're in engineering, you're in sales, if you're working on Acura, you better have some fun. As we're building performance, we're gonna show the world we're building performance, and uh, get on board with it. Cosa? La Ferrari? No, Papa. Acura. Acura. And uh, I think people are starting to understand what we're trying to do here. Yep.